SwiftUI's state property wrapper allows us to modify our view structs freely, which means as our program changes, the UI stays updated automatically. However, things are more complex when dealing with UI changes. For example, you want to make a UI that shows a text field with some text below, you might write code like this. You might say, let's make a form, then the form will make a text field saying, enter your name, and below that a text saying, hello world. However, that won't work. So we're trying to say I want a form with some text fields and some static text below that. It won't work because SwiftUI wants to know where to store the text of the text field. Where's that text coming from? Remember, views are a function of their state. That text field can only show something if it's come from somewhere else. This string should be shown here. What SwiftUI wants is a string in our struct that can be shown inside the text field. And so we'll say up here, I'll do a new string called name equal to quote, quote, by default, empty string. And we'll put that to our text field. We'll say, hey, your, your text comes from name now. And that's better, but it still won't work. It's still enough. Because SwiftUI wants to be able to make sure this uh, information goes uh, in, a, in a modifiable way. It's a text field after all. They can type into there and should we update the string somehow. So the user types in this box, it should change a string, right? That's what we want to do. Uh, so you might think, okay, fine. Um, I'm going to use at state private var name is empty string. And that'll be enough. But it's still not enough because uh, Swift UI wants to know how to read and write the value. Because Swift differentiates between please read the value and also write any changes back to where it came from. In the case of our text field, Swift has to be able to make sure that the UI on the screen reflects whatever is in the string at all times. Change the string, boom, change text field. But at the same time, to be able to fulfill the promise of that it's views a function of state, when they change the text field, it should also update the text string the property. This is what's called a two-way binding. We bind the text field so it shows the value of our property also updates the property when they type into it correctly. In Swift UI, we mark these with a dollar sign before our variable name like this. We just say dollar name. This tells Swift should read and write the value automatically. So it changes, up it a string. String changes, up it the UI. And now try running the code. Again, press Command R. We should see, enter your name. I'll write here, Paul, looking good. As expecting, it's working correctly. But before we're done, we're going to modify this text field so it shows that name string inside there. So rather than saying hello world, we'll just say your name is string interpolation name. I press command R again, and I'll write in here P A U L, and you can see it's updating as I type. Now notice how I wrote name here, not dollar sign name. Just writing name means I want to read the value, put the name from the string into here with string interpolation. Dollar sign name means I want a two-way binding. I want to show the name here, but I'll write the value back into that string when I type into this box here. So when you see one of these dollar signs before one of your variable names in a form and similar, it means making a two-way binding. The value is read, but also written back.